uh, case. Example one. So let's say you had <coughs> uh, some kind of uh, object like this. And let's say maybe it's a big wooden plank. So uh, or it could be a boat, could be anything. So let's say the wooden plank has a mass of uh, 200 kilogram and density sometimes remember I use D and rho interchangeably so let's say the density was equal to uh, point, uh, 4 gram per cubic centimeter so that's kind of roughly like a density of wood, something like that. So remember, gram per cubic centimeter, if you want to go to kilogram per meter cube, you got to multiply by 1,000. So this would be equivalent to saying 400 kilogram per meter cube. So I want to know what percentage of the, of the plank is sunk under. What percentage? of plank is under water and then I want to know how much mass can I put on top of this so that it will be on the verge of sinking Can I add to plank so that it is on the verge of sinking? Okay. Then, uh, basically, remember the equation I derived: the density of the object divided by the density of the fluid is equal to the volume of the prime over V. So in this case, the density of the object is, we can either use 0.4 gram and then the water is one. So 0.4 over one would be equal to V prime over V. So it'd be, uh, it'd be basically a ratio of 0.4 and that would be 40%. So 40% of it is uh, sunk underneath. Okay, so it looks kind of like this in reality. So let's say it had a height of uh, 12 centimeters. So 40% of the volume would be underneath the water, 40% of the volume. Well, if it's a cubical object, kind of like straight like this and like this, you know, then that would mean the ratio of the heights are the same as well. The ratio of the heights are the same as the ratio of the volumes. So it would equal h prime over h, but that's only if the it's a, like a cubical object or rectangular object, okay? So any rectangular object or cubical would, that would work. So basically, that would mean that's h prime over h. So if the total height is 12 centimeters, uh, 0.4 of that, 0.4 of 12, and that's 4.8 centimeters. So 4.8 centimeters is underneath the water, and then the rest of that, 12 minus 4.8, 7.2. Okay. <coughs> 7.2 centimeters are above the water. So that's a uh, majority, I mean 60% of it is above the water. Now for ice cube, it's different. The uh, density of ice is 9.92. So about 92% of the density of water. So for a big iceberg, 92% of it is under the water surface. 8% of it is over the top over the water surface. So most of the iceberg that we see 
is uh, most of the iceberg we don't see. Basically, it's underneath the water, 92%. Only we see 8% of it above the water. Okay? So now, how much mass can I add on top of this? Well, basically, the logic is, as I add more mass, as I add more mass, the volume is not changing, right? Um, let's say people are coming on top of the wooden plank, and then I'm, they're bringing in uh, cargo with them and stuff. So what is the total mass? Well, the, basically, whenever the new density of the wooden plank becomes one gram per cubic centimeter or 1,000 kilogram per meter cube, then the plank will be on the verge of uh, sinking. So basically, we're going to say the density of the plank needs to equal uh, 1,000 kilogram per meter cube in order for it to sink, be on the verge of sinking. So the density of the plank is the mass of the plank over the volume of the plank. And then the mass of the plank is the original mass 200 plus any additional mass that I add on top of it. And the volume of the plank, well, the volume of the plank was what? Well, we know the density of the plank, and if the original mass of the plank was given, we could find the original volume of the plank. So volume of the plank is going to be, remember always, density is mass over volume. Okay? The volume of the plank is mass over the plank over the density of the plank. So the mass was 200 divided by the density of the uh, plank in 400. Okay, so notice here I'm being careful about units. In terms of kilogram, I want to be consistent here. This is kilogram, I'm going to use kilogram. So 200 kilogram is the mass, 400 kilogram per meter cube, and this gives me a half, half meter cubed. Okay, so that means the plant's volume is a half meter cubed. So you put that half over here, so this is in units of half meter cubed. This is in units of kilogram. This is the answer is going to come out in kilogram. That's going to equal to a thousand kilogram per meter cubed. So if this is meter cubed, right? Half meter cubed. The meter cubed meter cubed cancel, and then kilogram, and then this is going to come out in kilogram. Okay. So the half goes over there becomes five hundred. And then x becomes uh, 300, right? That's it. The x becomes 300. I could only put 300 kilogram on top of this, which is about two, two and a half, or three people, uh, depending on their mass. Yeah, probably about three people, three, maybe four people can go on top of that and it'd be on the verge of uh, sinking. Okay, now let's do another example, example two with the floating case. 